Your email address, okay? Email address. Yep. You gotta have a pro email address. And when I say pro email address, you also have to have a tagline at the bottom, okay? So it needs to say, just give me an example, Melissa uh, Corson, and you might want to put founder of, and then www. your website, and then your phone number. All that needs to be on your tagline. And your email needs to be like, you know, Melissa, if the name of your company was Boom, you know, if that was the name of your company. So it's Melissa at Boom.com. Boom.com. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that, that's what you need to have your email address. You wouldn't want to have it Melissa at Gmail.com. Because the, the, the guy from New York who wants to partner with you, the celebrity who may endorse you, Fox Business who wants to write a story about you, the customer who wants to buy from you is going to have a hard time believing that you're a legit company if you haven't gone through the work needed to set up Melissa at Boom.com if the name of your company is Boom.com. Right. You can't have Melissa at Gmail.com if you're Melissa at Boom.com. Does that make sense? Yeah. You've got to have the, the, the actual professional domain name, Melissa at Boom.com. Okay. Cool. Again, I get people all over the country who are awesome folks, and they have terrible branding. In my perception, I go back here and I go, oh, no. I look back and I say, it's a Christmas gift that's not wrapped. Yeah. Right? They don't have a good, a good they, don't, they don't have it. They don't have the iPad wrap. They have a really, they've like wrapped it in aluminum foil or something. I Google them. I get bad reviews. You know, it's a bad Google trail. Then I go on, and their website looks like their brother made it because their brother did made it, and their brother's never built a site in the past, and so this is the first one he's ever made, and I'm excited for this opportunity for the brother. But meanwhile, he's ruining their chances of success. Yeah. Then world-class logo is replaced by a terrible logo. It doesn't make any sense. Their photography looks like it was taken off of Facebook that somebody took in the middle of the night without a flash. Their videos look like they were, they're, they're terrible. They don't at any point have a point. Their packaging looks awful. It doesn't fit on Macy's. If it was found at Macy's, they would throw it away and contaminate, you know, put in the HAZVAP contamination area. They would go, what is this gross thing? You know, people, the people at Macy's wouldn't think it's a product that fits there. They, instead of having a mullet where it's formal in the front and party in the back, they got a party up front. Mm -hmm. I see people that have hair growing in the front. And I'm going, whoa, what? people are, re bro, you've got to get the mullet back here. You can't, you can't, you know, the, the idea of a perfect mullet is it looks sharp up front and in the back you've got the flow. I see, you want to look like a pro up here and then the back you want the flow. But you have to do that. Then you see people that they go, you know, instead of meeting people at a nice office or a faux office like I used to do, they'll meet people like, I used to tell clients, hey, why don't we meet at McDonald's? I used to say it all the time and I used to never think anything wrong with it until one of my mentors pointed out to me, you mean you meet clients at McDonald's? And I'm like, yeah, bro, I go there all the time. Breakfast burritos are a dollar, why would I not? And he goes, There's, I can't believe anyone's ever bought from you. And I'm like, well, I got one guy, and by the way, Jeff Ramsey, if you're watching, I'm not mad at you. Jeff Ramsey, our first client, he, I remember him buying, and he was like so skeptical when he gave me the check. He's like, so you're gonna be there, right? And I'm like, right. So I booked an event at Keystone Lake, Four Rivers of the Two Winds something resort, and he, Gives me that check. I just remember him having the most incredible buyer's remorse on his face walking out like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I've just done, but I was so cheap. Yeah. You know, maybe that was the tipping point. I don't know. Um, customer reviews, though. you got to have those customer reviews. The reverse of that is no customer reviews. And I'm going, really? You're a best-selling author and there's no reviews? Social media likes. You have to stay active on that so people think that you're actually real. Right. Right? you got to be real. You gotta look real before you are real. Fake it till you make it. Look big before you are. If you're a peacock, you know peacocks puff up their feathers? Yeah. They don't have a whole lot of ability to attack us, but they're just like, Whoo. That's kind of what you gotta do with branding, okay? okay? Video testimonials. You need to have video testimonials. If not, it begs a question. Celebrity endorsements. I mean, come on. You could have a terrible book, but if Laura Bush says it's awesome, yeah. at least half the population is gonna like it. The other half probably won't, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. If Michelle Obama says, this book is the hot sauce. You need to read this. People are going to go, okay, let's do it. Half the people will read that book. So you need to go after those celebrity endorsements. Very, very important. 
Um, the PR, you need to do the PR. You gotta make sure you're featured in the media. If you can do that, it just helps you so much. People will think you're much more credible. Phone scripting, have a plan and have a procedure. Where are you gonna go? What's your etiquette? How are you gonna answer that phone? Yeah. Very, very important that you do that. The on hold music, you gotta have on hold music that sounds solid. You gotta have a place to go that sounds solid. You can't be calling from, you can't be changing diapers while you're answering the phone. You can't be at the local pool. When you, I mean, literally, if you see a phone coming in, you have to have a phone call coming in, you have to have a plan for how are you gonna do that in a, in a professional manner. You just have to think through that. The pro email address, you can't have just a weird email address. It can't happen.